we have on the line? Kyle? Sure, Leo. We have Aaron from Winnipeg, Manitoba, and he's on the webcam. Hey, Aaron. How are you today? Hi, Leo. I'm just fine. How about you? Oh, I can tell he's on Skype, isn't he? Look at that. What a great <laughs> picture. I t I, I've, I'm, the more we use Skype, the more I'm just blown away by the quality of the image. What can we do for you, Aaron? Well, I, um, I've got a MacBook. I just, I just bought it uh, a few weeks ago. Congratulations. Yeah, I'm really impressed with it, actually. <laughs> um, but uh, I've also got a home PC. Okay. And I'm just looking to sort of, uh, I, I don't know, I guess, I guess use them both in, uh, more easily. Right. I use. I mean, I have a very similar network, a heterogeneous network with Macs and PCs, right. and they coexist beautifully. Right, and and well, I mean, the and the home network I've set up is is pretty good. File yeah. sharing Macs, between them and that's everything, right. it's, it's gone just fine. To the PC, a Mac looks like a PC. Uh, to a Mac, they can see the PC files and 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 share them, and no problem. So what is right. it that you're and, having trouble with? It's been with? fantastic. Yeah, yeah. But the problem I'm having, well, it's more of a more of a preference than anything. Okay. Um, you know, I've got two separate. Keyboards, I'm finding right. One for the Mac, I got and then one two for the keyboards. What I know what you're saying. You would <laughs> so like I'm just to wondering, have. Well, you know, I found this 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 program or this open source project uh, that was. Uh, Darren showed Synergy. it. Synergy. Darren showed it the other day on our show. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Okay. In yeah. fact, we've been talking about Synergy. I think since 2003, Sarah Lane was the first person to show it on the screensavers. This is an amazing program, and it, I use it myself. I know, I know Darren uses it. It allows you, it's network only, it's software only. It's not a KVM right. switch. We've talked before about KVM switches. We use them here. So a uh, KVM switch means one mouse, one monitor, one keyboard. K, keyboard, V, video, M, mouse. And then varieties of computers connected to the same one. So right now, this mouse, keyboard, and monitor are attached to my PC. I press a button on my switch. It goes over to the Mac, and then you'll see the Mac. And I'll be able to control the Mac using this keyboard, mouse, and monitor. But if you don't want to do it in hardware, if you have multiple monitors, and that's the key, this will not um, allow you to share monitors. This only allows you to share the, the mouse and the keyboard. Right. So you'll still have now, with this setup, it's free, which is the advantage. You'll still have a Mac monitor on your desk. You'll still have a PC monitor on your desk. But what you'll be getting rid of is the Mac keyboard and mouse, and you'll be or vice or the PC keyboard and mouse. You only have one keyboard and mouse. Right, and uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm looking for. So yeah. the, the basic issue that I'm having though is, you know, the install server side goes fine on the PC. It's going to be the server. Right. Um, and with the Mac side, it's uh, you know I've, I've I've gone to the fact and look, looked up. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut stop you right there. Oh sure. Don't try to use the software on SourceForge, which works fine on your PC on the Mac. Okay. There are some. In fact, I think you showed us this as well, Darren. There's some really uh, really good. There's two of them. Uh, system preference panes for the Macintosh that make it much easier to install and use Synergy. Oh wow! So it's got like a whole application. And it's got of... a GUI, baby. Wow. Okay. Um, I'm gonna look this up. I think it's called. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Do you remember what it's Quick called? Quick Synergy, I think. Quick Synergy. Yeah. Um, Could be wrong. Paul set that up on his Mac Mini, so. Yeah, I, I've used. I've got links in the show notes to it. Of course, I don't have the links here on my computer. So let me log into the show notes and. Sometimes I actually go to our own show notes to pull up to pull up stuff um, and look this up for you because this is uh, uh, I would not recommend trying to do it from the command line in the Mac. You can, right. but it's just so much easier. There's two of them. Um, this one is from Landry Hetu, L A N D R Y H E T U dot com. It's called Synergy K M, the missing GUI, and it's from Bertrand Landry Hetu. And it is a GUI wrapper. That's one, and it's a. It basically gives you a system preference pane that controls it. It makes it much easier. And then the other one, uh, which is I think the one I use. Let me find the link on this. Is uh, from Altuit. A l t u i t dot com. And actually, Altuit not only makes uh, a program for the Mac, but they have some very good step by step instructions. So um, a l t u i t dot com. Huh, and you'll find it works fine. I use it. That's exactly what I do. I have a KVM, um, but generally speaking, what I'll do is I'll have the PC monitor side by side with the Mac monitor, single keyboard and mouse. And what's nice is I can move my mouse over from the. I can't show you here because the KVM won't show you. But I move my mouse over here on the PC to the right. It ends up on the Mac. Then the mouse and keyboard work on the Mac. I can cut and paste. I move it back over to the left. It's back here on the PC. It is really a great way to use two computers at the same time on your desktop. Absolutely free. 
And, uh, I just have another quick question, if sure. you don't mind. Yeah. Um, about, uh, I've, I've also got a Bluetooth keyboard that I got from Apple and a, right. a Mighty Mouse, which right. I'm in love with. Can I, can I uh, use them on my PC as well if I have a Bluetooth dongle and that can be the, the one... The one setup. Uh, in that case, I would suggest mouse. making your Mac the, the host ah, okay. and making the PC the client, and that way you yeah. know it'll work. Uh, right. I am not sure what happens with that Bluetooth on a PC. It should. I mean, yeah. that's a standard interface. <laughs> right. But, but 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 why mess with it? Just use the Mac as your host. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you don't have to even think about it. You continue to use the Mac and the mouse, and I think the PC mouse, the PC will understand the Mighty Mouse just fine, because um, it's a standard human interface device. Same thing with the keyboard. But why take a chance? Just make, yep. the, make the Mac the host. <laughs> that exactly. solves that okay. whole problem. The host is where the hardware lives. So the, if the hardware is on the Mac, the Mac is the host, and then you just move the mouse over to the PC, it'll work fine. All right. Thanks All right? a lot. Hey, I thank you for the call, Aaron. It's great to talk. No.